Okay, so here's what brought in this whole session. Um, over the years, we've always had clients that would call us and say, I have this one asset or these 500 assets and for the life of me, I can't figure out how SAP calculated that depreciation amount. When I do it, I come up with a different amount. Right? So if you look at an asset master record, for example, an SAP calculated $17,600 of depreciation, but when I do that myself in SAP, I come up with $20,000 and I can't figure out why that is. And, and I've literally, we've received hundreds of those calls and people always think that SAP has a mind of its own and does its own calculation and, and this is why we want to do this session to find out how do we, how do we really track SAP's calculation logic because ultimately SAP does not have a mind of its own and it only calculates what we told it to calculate in configuration but sometimes it's not that easy to figure out how it actually does that. Yeah, to, to comment, so you've been kind. Uh, in some cases people say, it is wrong. It is absolutely <laughs> wrong. And to which we usually reply, it's just a math problem. Let's walk through the math. And that's what we're about to do for you today is walk through the math and what the variables and parameters are. Yes, and that's always the first assumption. Right? SAP is wrong. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something wrong. And yes. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about um, depreciation in general. A couple of, of ground rules when it comes to depreciation calculation in SAP. Um, First of all, SAP does the depreciation calculation automatically for every asset and it does it at various points in time or, or events, if you will. So 